Welcome to Kelly Frick Connect. I am super excited to be able to start this series of interviews of some amazing wellness practitioners to be able to bring to you here in Georgetown, as well as just to be able to know that there are so many different types of practitioners around the world, right? To be able to make sure and dive in and to connect to your health, your whole health, our mind, body, soul, spirit connection of our health. So my very first guest is Angela Pinkerton. Hi. I'm super excited to share her with you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk a little bit. We're gonna just kind of get to know Angela and to be able to know what she does and how she does things. And so let's get started. Okay. So, all right, so Angela Pinkerton, have at it. Who are you? Um, well, first of all, I'm a child of God. Second of all, I'm a holistic health practitioner here in the Georgetown area, um, providing alternative wellness for um, pediatrics to geriatrics, everything from cold and flu to autoimmune, heart disease, thyroid, prostate, fertility, anxiety, all the things. If you'd go see a regular MD, you could come and see me. I am not a doctor. I am a board certified holistic health practitioner. So I only use herbal remedies, oils, um, and supplementation to help the body heal itself from the inside out um, once we identify what that root cause is. That's super cool. Yeah, oh, I love it. it. <laughs> Okay, so, and I have to also give disclaimer that she is like a dear friend of mine. I got introduced to Angela Pinkerton from my chiropractor, uh, Dr. Um, Annie Wood. She's lovely. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely lovely. And so, oh my goodness, I think it was like love at first sight, you know, just that whole wonderful godly just friendship and just amazingness. So, how did you get on this journey of being a, a practitioner as you are? Absolutely. Um, so I was in the nursing field for about 14 years and um, I worked everything from acute care to cardiology, um, rheumatology, OBGYN, pediatrics, all of that. Um, and I realized that we were missing the root cause. What is causing these people to be sick? Why are they not getting better? What is keeping their bodies from functioning at 100%? And why are we just masking the symptoms with band-aids, medications and things like that? Um, so I quit nursing and went ahead and just found my own path in life, trusted in the Lord that he would provide something for me, and he did. He um, hooked me up with a chiropractor that was local in Michigan, and um, for me, local at the time, and um, they were doing um, holistic wellness there as well, um, nutritional response testing, and um, utilizing the same practices that I use here, and I got exposed to it there, and it just resonated as 100% truth. I saw people actually healing and not having to come back. Um, and that's what I wanted. I knew that that was the missing piece and I prayed about it for a long time And then I went and got educated and certified and all of that wonderful stuff and I've been practicing now for about four years That's awesome. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your certification. So yes. it's kind of different your certification mm -hmm. is bio Bioenergetic okay. assessment practitioner and holistic health practitioner as well as a wellness coach which goes along there's many different avenues of that but this is actual um, medical side of training um, where you learn what the herbs what the roots um, what the animal parts even for supplementation um, in the pills and the tinctures how they are work how they work in the body and what the body does with them um, as well as how the organs and um, the glandular systems and all of that work together to determine you know, their functionality or their structure issues. Um, so this isn't just like, oh, I'm a wellness coach, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna throw some herbs at you and hope it works. This is actual training um, so that we know what we're doing. And the stuff that we use is only available through a, a licensed board certified pr uh, provider. So awesome. um, it's neat to be able to meld that medical side with the natural side. And I think it's super important that we understand both of that. And um, yeah, so it was, a, yeah. it was a, Quite an extensive training, but it was great. <laughs> I imagine. Okay, so so understanding bioenergetics, that is mm -hmm. in layman's term, is that what muscle testing is, or is it is, is it even more than just muscle testing? It's kind of both. So bioenergetic testing is very similar to applied kinesiology. Um, those you can go to Southwestern University right here in Georgetown and get a degree in applied kinesiology. It's using the body's muscular and nervous system responses to determine where there's weaknesses in the body. Um, so we tap into that energy. It's just kind of like if you've ever walked into a room and the hair on the back of your neck stood up and you were like, uh-oh, creeper. 
I need to pay attention to my surroundings. It's the exact same thing. It's your nervous system reacting. In that situation, your nervous system is reacting to a stranger you didn't even know existed on this planet, but your body's physically having a reaction to them. Um, this is the same thing, but I engage by touching the body and pushing on the arm um, and being able to interpret the signs and signals of that uh, muscular system and nervous system. So yes, it's biological energy or bioenergetic testing, um, but it's also using a little bit of intuition and um, kind of just listening and figuring out the way that the body responds and the way people individually respond. Um, so it's kind of, that's what holistic is. So it's putting all of that mind, body, and spirit together. That's awesome. So then that's part of what the training, it really helps you tune in on how to be able to, to be able to make these assessments Correct. for your patients and to be able to really fine tune what is going to be unique for them, what's going to be supportive for them. Absolutely. So that, yeah. Awesome. Um, everybody's body responds differently. Everybody, everybody's body acts differently. So where if I'm testing you and you've got a real easy flowy arm, that's great. But the next person who comes in, might be totally rigid and their response is different and it's training and putting hands on bodies and figuring out how to identify that mm -hmm. um, and how to really fine tune that and dial it in to get somebody's unique individual profile ready for them. That's awesome, that is so awesome. And I have to like give a side note. So for example, many of you know that I've been super sick, right? I was super sick for almost two weeks and I being stubborn, y'all know me. Um, <laughs> Finally, after a week, I called Angela up and I was like, okay, I got to come in. You got to like help me figure out how, why am I not being able to, I mean me, it's Kelly. I know what oils I need to be doing. I need to be doing this and that and thing and, and I do all this stuff. But because of the fact that she was able to tune in with her expertise, she was able to figure out exactly what was the combo that was going to be right for me. And literally within two, three days, I mean, I was all cleared up. I'm finally sleeping in my own bed again. And it was Uninvasive, you know, we were if we were to go to a medical doctor, they'd have me draw blood, you know, do different swabs, different things, all that stuff, and still not necessarily, you know, they would probably throw an antibiotic or a, yeah, yeah, antibiotic, antibiotic yeah. or something at me, just basically trying to figure out okay how to help her clear up or go away, basically, you know. Whereas with Angela, you were able to like really fine tune and get me just up and going in. Two days so mm -hmm. that's super cool i promise i will not wait as long next time good call good call <laughs> okay so what is your most rewarding thing about what you do i think um the most rewarding thing for me is seeing not only people heal because i mean that's beautiful that's the goal right that's my calling that's what i'm supposed to be doing is helping people understand their bodies so they can heal um but i think the biggest reward that i see for me is the families that come and the moms and the dads and the grandmas and the aunts and uncles and the sisters and the brothers who come in together um, and they get the education and the knowledge of what they need to do so they can take this outside of having to come and see a practitioner. They Just the education and teaching people how they can empower themselves for their health and how they can make these decisions themselves and just say, oh, my child has a sore throat or, you know, my thyroid's off, let's, let's do this. Um, so just kind of educating and seeing how that trickles through families and um, it just really helps educate and empower people and that's really what most of this is about aside from the healing part because you know that's all awesome. yes yeah <laughs> all right so what's the most challenging of what you do oh hmm I think the most challenging for me hmm, that's a really tough question um, is keeping it all together business-wise to be honest with you it's just me. I don't have an assistant. I'm looking for one soon though. Um, I don't have an assistant or anything. So running both sides of the business and still being true to myself and keeping my health and my sanity and a good balance of what is healthy for me. Um, I think that's, that's a challenge for me with this business. Um, I think that would be the hardest thing. Yeah. So if I make mistakes, people, I'm sorry. I'm human. <laughs> he forgave me. You can too. So with you doing everything you do, very holistic, you know, about tinctures and herbs and spices and all that stuff, I'm assuming that you are familiar with essential oils. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> all right, so what, do you use essential oils for yourself personally and or with your um, uh, clients? Yes, customers? to all of that. Awesome. I've been using essential oils, oh gosh, 
over 10 years. Um, and I just absolutely love it. Um, I use it for my family personally, for me personally. There's not a single day I go by that I don't have an oil on my body. Um, I just, I just don't. I, they're there. They're perfect. I have this tool. I've got this toolbox. Why not utilize it? Um, and I can tell when I've forgotten or it's later in the day. Um, and then also, yes, professionally as well. I test people for oils um, or, well, you know, like the allergy oils, the lemon, lavender, peppermint combo, um, using on guard if somebody's sick, um, for gargle, mouthwash, you know, those types mm -hmm. of things. Um, and then there's other oils that help stimulate emotions, um, attention, um, fertility, periods, um, prostate, all, all of these things. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can be utilized just as much as a supplement or um, a tincture can. So I think they work hand in hand. But yeah, I, for myself and for everybody. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm assuming with tinctures and, and herbs, not, we all know that quality is super important. So do you yes. believe the same with the oils and all that stuff that we can't just go to like Target or to Dollar Store and just pick out herbs and, and tinctures and, and oils and think that they're gonna be helping us and supporting us. Absolutely. <laughs> I think buying oils, um, it, your sourcing is the number one thing. You need to find out where is it grown, who is it grown by, what is their intention, how pure is their distilling process. Mm -hmm. um, are they overheating oils and they're losing their properties? Think about food. If you overcook a steak, you've taken out the nutritional value. If you boil asparagus till it's mush, you've taken out all the nutritional value it's and all the use. Good. No, and it's got like slimy and gross. No, <laughs> um, so so oils are the same thing. They are alive things that need to be distilled properly so they can be put in a concentrated and healthy form. I think sourcing 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 is very important. And no, if you're buying a six dollar bottle of frankincense, you're buying a six dollar bottle of caca. <laughs> Don't, do Don't do it. Things have value for a reason. A six dollar bottle of frankincense is like a dollar cheeseburger from McDonald's. Don't do it. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a great, it's true. great analogy. All right, so before we wrap up, Angela, yes. <laughs> is there anything else about yourself that you would like to be able to share that you would like the world to be able to know about you and your business? Um, yeah, so we do well child checks. Um, we do integrate Western and um, Eastern medicine. Um, we do swab tests for strep if that's a concern. We can muscle test and determine that as well, but sometimes we want a little more, um, we want to be able to see it. You know what I mean? See it and kind of wrap our hands, our heads around it. Um, so I do that. I do EKGs in the office. Um, I do urinalysis tests as well. So I kind of balance both natural and um, more traditional um, practices. Um, but we're open Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, everything from pregnancy to um, fertility to babies to the more advanced age, wonderful part of our society as well. Um, and we do it all. So, and no pokies and no vaccinations. So you can tell your kids, no pokies here. It's fine. That's awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. So how can a person get a hold of you? Okay. Um, so my phone number right here is 810-599-2772. Uh, um, or you can look me up on Facebook, um, Holistic Wellness and Primary Care. Um, you can also find me on the webs at Holistic Wellness and Primary Care, you're gonna be looking for this logo right there. Yes. That's the logo, so if you see this, that's me. Um, there's a lot of other businesses that have very similar names in this industry, so yeah. So that, or you can always um, text message on that number, that business number goes to my cell phone as well. So however that, or you can find her, like her page, click on her page, and then find me through there too. Yes, definitely. Yes. <laughs> Because I can't, you know, get enough of shouting out about you. Well, I'm so happy that you do this and you're <laughs> really bringing awareness to the community and that there are alternatives for people and you're yeah. connecting, yes. connecting people um, for whatever their particular path of wellness is and whatever they need. And I appreciate you and thank you for doing that, connecting everybody together and just being a good resource for people out there to get the information they need to yeah. make the right decisions for themselves. Yeah, exactly. Because we can't do this all alone, right? Mm -hmm. We, you know... I have my wellness coaching. I teach about the pillars of health and all stuff, but if somebody needs to get down and dirty with specific stuff, then I need to be able to know how to direct them for Absolutely. that whole holistic, you know, wellness journey. So, yeah. yeah. So, I want to thank you guys all for joining Angela and myself. Thank you. For today's interview. Um, 
lots of great ones scheduled for the rest of September. Definitely be paying attention to Kelly Frick Connect um, uh, Facebook page with uh, up to date, you know, of who's going to be coming next week and the following week and all that fun. But you guys have a beautiful and blessed rest of your day. And thank you so very much for joining us. Take care and God bless. Stop. <laughs>